We ordered, uh, should I tell them or should I wait to open it? Open it. Okay. Hello everyone. I just gave Theo a bath because he has a doctor appointment today. It is in about an hour. So we are just getting ready for that and then we're going to leave. Did you enjoy your bath little Theo? You did? You're all clean now? Yeah? Okay, let's get you dressed buddy. diagnosed with VUR which is basically just reflux of the bladder into the kidneys um, so today at his appointment they just wanted to see how severe it was which kidney it was in if it was both if it was just one what the treatment plan would be and all of that good stuff so he had an ultrasound of both of his kidneys and he also had a test done where they gave him a catheter and then they filled his bladder full of um, fluid and then they just saw if it went into his kidneys or not. So the results of that were not the best. Um, it turns out that he has reflux in both kidneys, left and right. And there's a grading scale from one to five, one being like really a non-issue and then five being really severe needing surgery pretty much right away um so theo's grading was a three for both sides so he's like kind of borderline where he might outgrow it and he might need surgery so the treatment plan is that they are going to wait a year and then do another follow-up like some more testing and um, more ultrasound and stuff like that and see if he's outgrown it at all and within that year, he's going to be on antibiotics just to prevent any UTIs. That way he doesn't get an infection and like hurt his kidneys or cause scarring or anything like that. Um, so we're hoping, you know, that he will outgrow it. They said that 75% of kids with grade three do outgrow it. So those are pretty good odds, but it's a little scary because grade three is kind of high, you know, so I'm just not really sure what will happen. Um, my biggest concern though is I really hope that he doesn't get any future infections. Now if he does get like reoccurring inf infections within this year, then more than likely they would do the surgery. Um, because clearly he's not going to outgrow it and it's causing problems. So I don't know really we'll just have to see like what happens um but he seems fine he's not in pain or anything like that he's not sick or anything like that like he's okay um it's not like hurting him or affecting him in any way 
it's just uh, it could cause infections and like damage his kidneys and stuff so that's what the medicine is preventing hopefully he'll outgrow it but we don't know until his you know year follow-up so on a happier note it's time to open some boxes look at these packages so I already know what it is <laughs> we ordered should I tell him or should I wait to open it? Open it. Okay, okay. You gonna help mommy? Okay, come on. We'll start with the biggest one, which it looks like this one. This so. probably got my stuff in it, honestly. Oh, okay. Just a couple cords, y'all. Just some cheap cords. All right, Leon. What do we see? What do we see? Air! Yay! Yay! <laughs> Not a... This is a cable. Yeah, that's John's. And a cable. And a cable. Oh my gosh. So this is John's box, isn't it? It's just a bunch of cables. Uh, batteries. Oh. Hmm, I wonder what those are for. <laughs> and the surge protector. Is that what this is? Yeah. Some more cables. Yeah. All right, so a box of cables. John is right. That was all his stuff. All right, Leon, let's move on this one what do you think this one is say i don't know mommy let's open it and find out open it all right oh this is for you this is for your bath toys Yay. what do you think you want to go play with it that's for your bath toys to keep them all nice and organized okay there you go there was something for leon oh this is for theo because the one that we have broke so to get, oh, this is for Theo too. <laughs> Little crib sheets. What is this? It's for you, but you need to put it off to the side. Oh, okay. And the final box, which I'm not gonna shake because you don't shake it. <laughs> All right, you ready? What if it's not in here? <laughs> this is just like a different package. No, I know it's in there. Okay. Here, you can have this. You want those? And you can have this too, okay? There you go. Whoa! Oh my gosh, it's air! <laughs> <laughs> can you see it at all? No, not okay. yet. Okay. Alright, well, let me figure out the best way to... You ready? Yeah. Wow! Oh yeah! It's a new camera! And it's 4K! It's a 4K camera with a way better autofocus. So all those like fuzzy little shots that you guys get, which I mean, I honestly, I refilm stuff sometimes because it's so fuzzy and it still comes out fuzzy. So like we needed a new camera so bad. Does this mean our vlogs are now going to be full K with Dolby sound? Yes, it does, Sean. Yes, oh, wow. it does. Oh, wow. 4K camera. Oh. And also, starting February, we are going to try to get back into daily vlogging because I feel like I'm like fully recovered from childbirth and we're like in the swing of like having two kids now. It's a lot easier. So we're ready to go back and we're ready to go back 4K. Like I'm so, I don't even want to open it. I'm scared I'm going to break it. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Well, that's a little bit of a big lens to go vlogging with, isn't it? Okay, well, I have a different, I have two lenses, actually. Is that what this box is? Yeah, do you want me to open this one first, though? I'm already... Yeah, open already it up. Opening. So this lens is, like, the end-all, be-all. This is, like, the lens to have. I feel like I should wash my hands. I'm so, like, nervous. This is our at-home lens, you know, because... Let's be real, it's a little embarrassing to vlog in public when people are like staring at you. I do it anyways, but with this big old thing, I think I'd be even more embarrassed. So we got this one to vlog in public, and this is called the Pancake Lens. Oh, I didn't even tell you guys what kind of camera this is. Tell them what kind of camera it is. It's on the box here. This is a Sony A6600. Yes, and it is amazing. So it is almost like the Canon G7X she has now. But better. Yeah, it has the same screen that pops up. It has a lot of the same features, but it has a stabilized lens, which this one doesn't have. 
and it's got built-in stabilization. Yeah, so if something happens to our lens, like it stops focusing or messes up, we just change the lens and not the camera. So it'll be like a lot cheaper. Um, so this is the pancake lens. This is for like when we're out. And it's about the same size as the lens I'm using now. So no, it's, it's not. It's wider, but it's... it sticks out about the same. No, it doesn't. You think it's bigger? No. It's not actually. Most big, of is that's it? the case. Oh, you this, still got to take oh, the case wow, stuff like off of it. Half the size of the yeah. one I'm using now, but it's wider. Yeah, it's wider. But so it's... this is like at home, and this is. Yeah, but I guys, so this right here is the lens covering, and this right here is the thing to keep it from getting damaged on the bottom. Yeah, that's what. So these two pieces the all come I'll off. I'll have John show you guys all of it. I'm just like so stoked right now. Okay, all right. This is the big reveal. Wow, it's really lightweight. Oh, yeah. Compared to like mine, I feel like it's a little more lightweight. Well, it should be the same size once the lens is on it. Look at it. Oh, it's so ugly. <laughs> no, I think all cameras are kind of ugly. That's why I got a silicone case for it. I don't know. Is it Monday? Okay, it's not coming until Monday. <laughs> By Thursday, we'll have what? the rest of the pieces to the camera. Yeah. I tell you what, it's so much easier to hold because of this right here. Yeah. My case has that on it, but my camera doesn't. But this one's huge, and it is like so much easier to hold. Oh, I love it. And here's your little flip-up screen. So you can see yourself, you know, why. Hey, guys, you know. <laughs> oh, my gosh. It's very stiff because it's brand new, I'm assuming. Oh, yeah. But I'm, I'm nervous. Let's... You want to check it out? I know you do. Yeah. Okay. All right, guys. So this is the battery that came with the camera. As you can see, it has like a little Sony holographic on it. And um, two of them came with the camera. And then I got her these batteries. So these batteries have a higher lifespan. All the third-party batteries do. You know, because whenever you buy them, they'll say, like, the battery type and how many hours that they have. But this one actually has, like, 30% more battery life. And it has a digital charger. So this will show up, and it'll show both batteries that are being charged at a time. And how much charging it has left to do. So I thought that was really cool. And it can be charged from her car, it can be charged in here and like off of my switch. It can be charged off of her laptop, it can be charged from a normal outlet. So I thought that was super nice. But then we have the camera. So on her camera, like this is just like a dust cover and it just has one screw off. And then whenever she vlogs out in public, she's going to use this one. So this one has the same thing. And then she just has her dust cover. And then this is her whole lens. Like that's the whole thing, right? So that's pretty cool. And whenever she's not using it, she can keep this dust cover on it. And then just pop it off when she wants to vlog. Or she can leave it off like she does now. It also has um, this plastic thing right here. And it's just like a, a thing to keep the sun off of it a little bit. So she can actually take it off and it makes it even thinner. So in comparison to the side of it, like that's what you see. So that's her whole lens. Now her other lens has autofocus or manual focus right here. And it has the stabilization built into it. And it has the E-mount, which is the type of mount she uses. And then she takes her dust cover off. And then she has... Her full size lens. Okay, now how heavy is that? Um, it's it it weighs Let's about see. I'd like to say 13, oh, 14 ounces. Bad. You know, so it's still less than a pound. I feel like it's a tiny bit heavier than my camera now, but not like an inconvenience or yeah, anything. Yeah, it's not like she's carrying around a brick or a gallon of milk or anything like that. Yeah. So this will be like her camera for at home. So when we do at home shots this is what she's going to use and like we said it's going to be full 4k so expect the rest of our vlogs to be 4k now i did look it up and it is okay to handle these cameras by their lenses 
It's not okay by my standards. <laughs> yeah, Jody doesn't Please care for it, <laughs> but professional photographers do it all the time. I'm so excited. Oh my gosh. So now Jody can stop complaining about her camera not focusing. <laughs> it has trouble focusing so Every bad. Every day she complains. The problem with the focus on this camera, I don't even think it's focused right now. It's not. It's oh my gosh. Is the kids. Like, you know, the kids will do something super cute and you try to capture it and it's like completely out of focus and then the moment's over. And I'm like, oh man. So like, I'm so glad that this is such a better camera. Yep. All right, guys. Well, it is coming to the end of the night. So it is time to do our birthday shout outs. So happy birthday to Brian. Happy birthday to Aaron. Happy birthday to Olivia. Happy birthday to Chloe, who's eight years old. Happy birthday to Tom, who's five years old. And happy birthday to Allie, who's 11 years old. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you guys had a wonderful birthday. But that is pretty much it for today. So please like and subscribe. And we'll see you tomorrow in our next video. Bye.